Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time we're going to talk about how to check a website for any virus infections before you even visit the site. There's three different things that you can do and we're going to get into it right now. The first thing is in your web browser, if you have the Avast Online Security plugin, when you do a search for anything on Google, it'll give you a listing of the results and then it'll have a little shield beside it and it'll tell you if the site is safe or not. I did make a full tutorial on this and I'll link it in the description below and in the card above. Maybe you received an email with a link to a website to click on and you want to check that out before you click on the link. You can copy that link and then go to this website, which I'll also link below in the description. And you can search for files and websites. So if we go to the URL section here, and for example, we're gonna scan download.com, which is a pretty popular website. It takes a little bit of time to scan at first. I've already done a scan, so it appeared immediately. And it gives you a score of how many different sites have detected this as suspicious or malicious. And if it's really bad, it'll have red. If it's suspicious, it's medium. It's gonna be an orange like this one here. One source detected this as a suspicious site. And we'll find out in a moment why this is suspicious. You can see there's many sites here and some of them are unrated. So they're not able to determine what the issue is, if anything. You can click on the details tab here and there's a bit of information for any geeks out there that want to find out more. And at the very bottom, you'll see a redirection chain. So it is redirecting from download.com to download.cnet.com. So the actual website it goes to is cnet.com. So you're going to download.com, but you're actually gonna end up at cnet.com with a subdomain of download. I believe I've gotten into this in more detail in previous videos I've done, so you might want to check out some of my other security videos that I've made. You can look at uh, link sources here and read about things on the community, which some of these are saying don't download it. There's uh, adware and malware apps, which is true because this particular website is about downloading files. And those files, a lot of them could contain a virus, but there's a lot of legitimate ones as well. So you have to check each one individually, which each one will also have a link to their own website of the manufacturer that you can also copy and paste into here and scan their website. And then downloading the files, you can also scan, which we'll have another video in the future on scanning for files. So looking at the redirection issues, there's other issues to consider. Maybe the website itself scanned clean, but it's actually got code in there that's redirecting it to another website, which could be malicious. And you don't know that until you visit the site, unless you're watching this video and find out how you can check that. If you go to this website, wheregoes.com, you can plug in the actual website address here and trace the URL. If you scroll down a bit, it shows you the primary site that you visited. And if it's redirecting anywhere, it shows you here that it redirect to download.cnet.com. So we know that it's actually going somewhere else. So then at this point, you would want to copy this particular uh, address if you can. Then go back to virustotal.com in the URL and you can paste it in there and search for that. And then it's gonna go scanning that particular site and it tells you if it's clean or not. And you got the score out of how many sites were scanning this as well. In this case, it looks clean. So just a quick recap. If you're doing a search on Google, whatever web browser you're using, you can make use of that Avast online security extension. Other antivirus programs also offer online security extensions. So whichever one you use, they'll be scanning those sites to see if they're safe or not. Otherwise, you can copy and paste a link no matter where you got it from. If it's through a Google search or an email, copy and paste it into virustotal.com and you'll be able to scan it there. But then also remembering that any website could be redirecting to another site. So you might want to also check 
wheregoes.com to see if that site is redirecting somewhere else. And then looking at where that site goes, then scanning that website on virustotal.com and seeing that that's safe. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more, including a future video on how to scan your file downloads for viruses in a couple different ways. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.